Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel today i am on this construction site and i will show you some big mistakes especially in rcc top beam okay this is slab beam top beam okay so let's start guys first of all i will discuss the size of the beam okay the width of the beam is 12 inches and its depth is 16 inches okay 16 by 12 inches is the size of rcc column now here at the bottom we have four steel rods which dia is 16 millimeter but at the top we have three number uh, three steel bars three rods we have at the top which dia is 16 millimeter bottom bar and top bar dia is 16 millimeter okay so now guys what are the big mistakes the first one the first one mistake guys you can see this is near its support support is what rcc column look here but we don't have crank bar bent up bar but in many videos i have already discussed that the crank bar should be provided in rcc beam to resist shear stresses at the end of the supports but guys you cannot see you cannot see any crank bar look here okay so the crank bar should be provided with l by 4 distance total length of the beam divided by 4 so with the 4 length l by 4 distance we should provide the crank bar okay now guys this is the first mistake okay so now here in this beam we don't have any development length okay so directly you can see we don't have any development length look here okay so this is simple so the development length should be provided in rcc beam okay to make a good bond between concrete and steel so this is the second mistake we don't have any development length the third mistake guys you can see here I told you in many videos and from ACI and IS codes, okay, this is the reference, that the stirrups dia should not be less than, especially for top beam, uh, the minimum should be 6 millimeter, okay, but here we used 16 millimeter dia of steel bar, so therefore the stirrups dia should not be less than uh, 8 millimeter, okay, so it should be 8 millimeter, but they provided here just 6 millimeter, so it cannot support the shear stresses. Now guys, you can see, these are the hooks, okay but the hooks should be provided uh, okay with the angle of 135 degree as i told you in many videos but here this is with 90 degree so therefore it can be open and it cannot resist in uh, it cannot resistance uh, during earthquake okay now the other problem okay and many videos and also from aci and is reference they told us that with l by 4 distance the space between two stirrups should be minimum but after l by force it should be maximum okay but you can see here it is about nine inches okay this is nine inches in some time 10 inches so it should be equal at the mid okay but it should not be more than here guys you can see this is about six inches but i recommend you okay this is guys three story building so i recommend you the first stirrups should be placed with the uh, spacing of two inches but here guys you can see we have with six inches so this is the other mistake okay hooks mistakes anything so you you can see guys this is the binding wire okay Okay, they did not uh, uh, provide proper binding wire okay so this is not the proper so it can be open during uh, casting of concrete here so now uh, guys uh, also the stirrup spacing problem is also there now guys here in three or four story building and top beam at the mid we should provide the cut piece okay from the mid okay because uh, we should increase the uh, we should increase the strength of beam at the bottom okay because the top bar transfer the load to the bottom and bottom bars can uh, okay can give the load to the column so therefore we should provide the ex extra bars here okay but they didn't provide so this is the other problem now i will show you 